afternoon, folks. Thanks for tuning in to castingthelawatcher.com. It is when it is Monday, the first of July, and on there, the first day of the month of castingthelawatcher.com, we do have the month edge forecast. And in today's video, we're going to detail the view of July, the UK official month edge forecast. Now, later today, we will have the US blog, so come back for that one. The winter prediction from the ENS, so very interesting stuff going on there. Um, so we we'll start off by looking at the South Korean model, then moving on to the CFS, and then moving to more short term stuff like the MGO, and then moving through towards the MGFS stuff as well, and also the EFS and WF. Those are models first. Uh, but first, we're going to look at the season models, see what they're saying for the month of July. So this is like we're going to be turning warm through this weekend, but just how long the warmth um, stays with us and how long the area of high pressure stays with the United Kingdom is very, very uncertain. Uh, this is the forecast in the South Korea model for mid -Jan. and the South Korea model breaks its monthly forecast up into two steps, middle and end. This is the forecast for mid-July, and it's got high pressure across many parts of the country. Um, high pressure ridging in from the west, bringing some very warm weather temperatures edging up through towards the high 20s, no doubt, with an area of high pressure across the UK. And this is the forecast as of late July from the South Korean model. What we've done here is we've brought the area of low pressure through, and um, the one that you saw on the right of the chart, just here on the mid July forecast, has now come through the country look um, on the late July forecast, and it's affecting many parts of the country look with this stretching from Scandinavia through to Europe, through the UK, uh, bringing a lot of us out of the weather for the United Kingdom. And now switching over to the CFS version 2. Well, the CFS version 2 is very, very uncertain. And um, the forecast that it gives are very, very uncertain. It's still with the South Korean model 2. In fact, any season model, it's very uncertain to forecast with. Now, this is the CFS version 2 forecast for July. And uh, not much signal on the charts here. Very, very little signals going for the United Kingdom and for the whole of Europe. And um, just a hint here of low pressure to the south of the UK through the Mediterranean. And just a hint here of high pressure out towards the northeast of the UK. But there's not much signals uh, for the United Kingdom itself. And near normal is indicated in the CFS version 2. And I think what CFS version 2 wants to try and do is make the unsettled half, second half of the month, the end of the month, cancel out, if you like, the first half of the month so that we end up with an average month overall. And the CFS version 2 wants to make things very, very dry for the month of July um, across the whole of the UK, stretching out to Western Europe too. It makes Eastern Europe see more in the way of rainfall look uh, with an area of low pressure over here with this high pressure ridge given from the southwest, bringing some very, very warm weather. Now, CFS version 2 wants to keep this high pressure in through towards the end of July. I think it's very uncertain that for the end of July, uh, from the 2021st, 22nd, we'll start to see a breakdown in deterioration in conditions, low pressure coming through. More on that in just a second. And just looking at this, I see it at the GFS um, Ensemble Temperature for London. This is an Ensemble Temperature and also Rainfall Chart. Um, currently, in these sort of cool conditions or mild conditions, drop over into cool next few days with some rainfall coming in. But then look what happens. Temperatures really start to rise up through towards the weekend. And then we take a tumble through towards the end of the month. Look, the CFS wants to bring back the rainfall, back the cool conditions through towards the end of the month. I think I have to take this in consideration now. Towards the end of July, we start to see a deterioration in conditions. And the MGO certainly agrees. This is the MGO for the next few weeks through towards the 15th of July. And um, the line here is where we are currently, so we're currently in a phase sort of two, a sort of one sort of phase two category. And we go through, look through towards the end of this month, we go through towards this month, we start to go into phase four, look, and then through towards phase five. And it's again indicating that the risk of some unsettled weather coming through to the UK from around the 17th, 18th of the month. Now the ignition to phase four is very, very slow, we stay in the real for a long, long while. And that means we'll start to see cool, and we'll start, we'll see the warm conditions last for a while. And it'll really take a while to get the unsettled conditions back to the UK, but we will start to see them, I think, through towards the end of July, through towards the 16th, 17th, I think we'll start to see the deterioration conditions. And then through towards the end of the month, we'll finally start to see through towards sort of, the 19th, 20th, we'll finally start to see the unsettled conditions coming back to the UK. And um, from the north, they're sinking downwards through towards the south of the UK, but the um, setup and the exact time is very, very uncertain. Stay tuned to follow us right here on castingsandthewatcher.com. But don't worry, because it's a lot before we get to those and other conditions. And it starts with the warm weather coming up through this weekend. Uh, this is a forecast from the East MWF for Saturday and uh, for Sunday, the 7th of July. And it's got an area of high pressure to the east of the country, like, bringing in some very, very warm conditions. And um, with this area of low pressure like, out towards the northwest of the country, some very warm conditions bubbling up through towards the weekend. Temperatures may climb up to 29, 20, 20, 30 degrees Celsius. Of course, I'll have a weather wear update coming tomorrow for you folks. And looking further ahead into the synoptic forecast, as I said, long term forecast includes see them all. This is a more synoptic forecast, let's call it. And this is going through to the 17th of July. And notice what the ACM, ACM uh, GFS on someone wants to do. It wants to know this area of low pressure to the east of the country through towards Scandinavia. 
And on the task for Ian update, we did have this idea of how of low pressure starting to develop through towards the middle of July across these Scandinavian regions, and then that pushes through to the UK. I'm currently thinking this may be the case that we see this sort of breakdown as we go through towards the end of July from the 22nd, 23rd, with more settled conditions coming through to the UK, especially from the north, and then working their way south through towards the end of the month. But again, it's very, very uncertain. And I'm currently leaning through this idea that the UK is a slightly warmer than average month through July and with conditions slightly drier than normal in the south but closer to normal further north but again it's very uncertain and I'll be having frequent updates through July on how the forecast is shaping up through towards the medium range of course for our Monday medium range vlogs and also our general weather musings and weather videos will continue looking at the July forecast. Now if you want to check out the MJO update then you can do its MJO updates look through towards um, mid-July and not much has changed with the MJO so it looks like we're going to see this breakdown through the middle of July um, but still quite uncertain to go through towards the middle of July so thanks very much for tuning in to Monday Forecast enjoy the warm weather coming up let's hope it lasts through to further than we expect it through towards the end of July but current indications that we start to see this breakdown through towards the end of July with temperatures near normal overall um, in the north but temperatures slightly above normal further south with precipitation below normal in the south perhaps slightly closer to normal further north so thanks very much for tuning in to Casino Watch your come and see you later